Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Sitar and today we will learn about what is a lettuce. Now in this today's session we will discuss what is a lettuce and some of the examples. So first let us understand a lettuce, the definition. Okay, so let uh, a lettuce, it is a post set A less than or equals to in which every subset AB of A has a least upper bound that is LUB and a greatest lower bound. So that means every subset have uh, LUB as well as and GLB. Now uh, how to find LUB and GLB that we already know that we discussed in previous sessions. Fine. Now what are the lattice operators? So in lattice, the first one. Now LUB of A and B, it is denoted by this symbol A or B and it is known as this A join B. Fine. So this is the symbol. This means LUB of A and B. Now in same manner, this greatest lower bound of A and B, it is denoted by this A and B. So and it is known as this A meet B. So A join B means uh, uh, LUB and A meet B means GLB. Fine. Now uh, let us discuss example. So the question is determine whether the following Hayes diagram represent lattice or not. So uh, we have given the Hayes diagram. Fine. Now to check whether it is a lattice or not, all we have to do, we need to have LUB and GLB for each and every pair. Fine. So we will first create a GLB table as well as LUB table and check whether uh, all the pairs have GLB and LUB or not. Fine. So first uh, let us uh, uh, draw the GLB table. So this is the GLB symbol. Now uh, how many points are there? We have uh, four points. So just name it as A, B, C and D. We, we need to find the LUB for each and every pair. Fine. So just uh, in row A, B, C, D uh, in column. So just write uh, co in column A, B, C, D and also here A, B, C, D. Fine. Now A. Now the LUB of A and A. So what will be the LUB of A and A? So LUB and GLB of A and A will be this A itself. So it will be A. Now LUB of A and B. Least upper bound of A and B. So this is A and B. So least upper bound. So it will be B. Okay. Now A and C. So A and C. So what will be the least upper bound? So that will be C. Fine. Now A and D. Now A and D. So upper bound will be D. Okay. Next. Now B and A. So as it is A, B was it was B. So now B, A uh, it will be B. Fine. Now B, B. So B, B. It is the same point. So it will be B. Now B and C. Now this uh, B and C. So least upper bound will be C. Now B and D. B and D. So it will be C. Now consider C. Now what will be the A? Now it was uh, in A, C it was C. So in C, A also it will be C. Now and now CB. So in BC it was C. So here in CB it will be C. And then CC. So obviously it will be C as it is the same point. Now CD. So C and D. So least upper bound. So it will be C. Okay. So as you can see that the C is it is uh, the upper bound of the whole graph. So that means whenever C will be there. So the answer will be C. Fine. Now for DA. Now in AD it was D. So it will be D. Now DB, so in BD it was C, so here it will be C. Now DC, so in CD it was C, so it will be C. And DD, it is the same point, so it will be D. So now the same graph and now we will uh, construct a GLB table. Okay, so this is the GLB symbol. Now in column we will write A, B, C and D. And also in this row we will write A, B, C, D. Now A and D. Now it is the same point so greatest lower bound will be say A. Now A and B. Now A and B and here it is the lower bound and the greatest one so it will be A. Now A and C. A and A and D. A. Why? Because C. You can see that this A is the greatest lower bound of the whole graph. So whenever A will be there so the answer will be A. Fine. Now B and A. So B A. So A in A B it was A. So A. Now B B. Now B and B. So as it is the same point, so it will be B. Now B C. Now this B and C and the greatest lower bound. So that means this uh, B. Okay. Now B and D. B and D. So greatest lower bound will be A. Then C. Now C A. Now in A C it was A. So it will be A. Now C and B. Now in B C it was B. So here it will be B. And C C. So that means it is the same point. So it will be C. 
now c and d c and d greatest lower bound so it will be d fine now next d now this is d now d and a now in a and d it was a so it will be a now d and b so in b d it was a so here it will be a now d and c in c and d it was d so here it is d now d and d so greatest lower bound of the same point that will be d so now here you can see that every subset has a least upper bound as well as the greatest lower bound so we can say that it is a lattice fine so this is how we can conclude whether it is a lattice or not now let us discuss a, a second example so the question is let capital a be set of factors of positive integer m and the relation is divisibility on a okay so the divides relation is there and the set of factors of positive integer m fine so m is 45 is given and show that this poor set it is a lattice okay so this is the question and we need to check whether it is a lattice or not and we don't have any relation or we don't have any haze diagram so in this example everything it is covered so first we'll write a relation we will draw a haze diagram then we will find glb and lub and then we will conclude whether it is a lattice or not so this is a good example so here uh, a is the set of factors of m that is 45 now what are the factors of 45 so it will be a so 1 3 5 9 15 and 45 so they are the factors so hence in a these many points will be there okay so a is done now also the relation is what it is the uh, divides relation so that means x divides by fine so now uh, we will write a relation so the relation uh, will contain so many points like this okay so this many entries will be there how see each and every point divides itself so 1 1 3 3 5 5 9 9 15 15 and 45 Th uh, these many pairs will be there then 1 divides 3 1 divides 5 and 1 divides 45 up to this that will be there now 3 divides 9 3 divides 15 3 divides 45 then 5 divides 15 5 divides 45 then 9 nothing now and 15 divides 45 so this will be the relation so relation is done now we will construct a haze diagram fine so r is given so the haze diagram will be like this so see we, uh, we have di uh, directly drawn the haze diagram and in case you don't know how to draw or how to construct a haze diagram you can go for the previous videos okay so this will be the haze diagram i am not discussing it so first we will uh, create a lub table okay so how many points are there so total six points are there uh, so in column we will uh, draw this one three five nine fifteen and forty five fine and also in column same man one three five nine fifteen and forty five now one one now lub of one and one so as it is the same point so it will be one now lub of one and three c least upper bound of one and three so it will be three now least upper bound of one and five so it will be five now lub of one and nine so it will be nine then lub of uh, one and fifteen so one and fifteen it will be fifteen and one and forty five it will be forty five fine now for three so three one so in one three it was three so here it will be three now three three as it is the same point so three three now three five so three and five and least upper bound of three and five so that will be fifteen then three and nine so three and nine it will be nine then three and fifteen so 3 and 15 it will be 15 and 3 and 45 so 3 and 45 so it will be 45 okay now then 5 and 1 in 1 5 it was 5 so in 5 1 it will be 5 now 5 and 3 in 3 5 it was 15 so here it will be 15 now 5 5 as it is the same point so it will be 5 now 5 and 9 so 5 and 9 so least upper bound so that will be 45 now 5 and 15 so 5 and 15 it will be 15 now 5 and 45 so it will be 45 now as you can see that it is the upper bound of the whole graph so this column whole column will be 45 now 9 now 1 and 9 in the 1 and 9 it was 9 so here it will be 9 then next 9 and 3 so 9 and 3 so it will be 9 now 9 and 5 in 5 9 it was 45 so here it will be 45 now 9 and 9 so as it is the same point so it will be 9 now 9 and 15 this 9 and 15 so that is 45 and 9 and 45 
again 45 then next 15 and 1 in 115 it was 15 so 15 then uh, 15 and uh, 15 and 3 in 315 it was 15 so 15 now 15 and 5 so in 515 it was 15 so 15 and same in 15 and 9 in 9 and 15 it was 45 so here 45 then 15 15 as it is the same point so 15 now 15 and 45 so 45 and last 45 now see 45 is the upper bound so all the entries will be 45 so it is very obvious so you can see that there is a least upper bound for each and every pair fine now again now again we will construct this lub table fine so in same manner this table will be there in all uh, in column 1 3 5 9 and 15 uh, and 45 okay and also in row it will be 1 now 1 and 1 so g will be of 1 and 1 as it is the same point it will be 1 now 1 and 3 so the greatest lower bound of 1 and 3 so it will be 1 now you can see that this 1 it, it is the glb of, of the whole graph so this whole row will be 1 so no need to check for uh, everything now 3 and 1 in 1 3 it was 1 so 1 now 3 3 as it is the same point so 3 so 3 and 5 then 3 and 5 so it will be 1 then 3 and 9 3 and 9 it will be 3 then 3 15 3 15 it will be 3 and 3 45 it will be 3 now 5 now in 5 1 so in 1 5 it was 1 so 1 now in 5 3 then 1 then 5 5 so 5 now 5 9 so 5 and 9 so it will be 1 now 5 and 15 so it will be 5 and 5 and 45 so it will be 5 so this is how you can create the glb now i'm just directly writing the answers because it is very easy so fine so these will be the answers okay so as you can see that it is the uh, you can see that now there is a glb for each and every pair fine so here every subset has upper bound as well as a greatest lower bound so we can see that it is a lattice okay so this uh, example is the important one thank you